Hey you guys, um, I know it's been a minute since I uploaded a new video. Sorry about that shaking, I was moving in the chair and so it hit the desk and everything, but that's when. So, um, I was, I got inspired to do this video because, um, a while back some friends were talking about, like, because most of my friends and everything were all in college and everything. So some of my friends were on a post on Facebook were talking about like food during college. Like it does get expensive, especially like certain types of food, like um, healthy foods and everything, like fruits and vegetables and everything like that. Um, this video won't just be about healthy foods because if I was just in a, if I was in a college dorm room or living on my own or something, like if I wasn't with my husband or something like that, then this is the kind of stuff that I would probably be eating. It's not, I wouldn't only be eating like healthy things. I'm not going to just act like I would because I know I wouldn't. But there's a lot of people that do. So I will include that part on here. Um, but it's basically with Walmart. Okay, so the first thing that came to mind was how... Of course, everyone, they want to get the best deal and everything, especially college students, because it's expensive enough already going to college with tuition and books and everything like that. So, um, the, you don't want to either, if you don't have a car or something, then you have to walk to every single place or take a bus or something or ask a friend and who really wants to take you to five different places just so you can get the best deal. <clears throat> so... That's why I narrowed it down to the one place. Not just because I work at the one place. That's not the reason why at all. It's just easier to go to one place because that's only one stop. Um, and if you have a car, then you don't have to just drive all over everywhere using up your gas so you can save on food. Because what's the point then? Because you just used up all your gas. So now you got the money you were going to put for extra food or whatever is going to be spent on gas. So what I did... <coughs> It's something that we can all do because I'm sure that everyone has a computer like area or a library at um, school. So you can either get um, weekly ads sent to your house, like go online and look up the like the distributor or whoever you go to, like go through there, get them sent like mail to your mailbox at school or something. Get them mailed there. You can do that um, just so you can get the weekly ad so you can plan out what you want to buy and everything. Or you can go online, which is what I did here because I haven't went to my mailbox today. And I just figured instead of taking that long walk outside, why not just go online so I can show you guys the second way to do it. This is also a way that's available on your phones, just in case. Whereas you can either take a picture of it or you can pull it up right then and there if you don't care about using up your data or anything like that, you know. Um, but okay, so the first thing I would suggest um, a person buy is a mini griddle i guess you call it i have one because i feel like it would be very useful instead of buying a lot of pans and everything to cook different things in um, i just feel like it'll be useful and of course not all dorms and everything they don't all have stoves or anything for you to cook on so i think it will be pretty useful like at least a griddle which i'm going to show you what it is i'm just searching it on my phone right now Okay, so this right here, I don't think you guys can see it. That right there, that is a griddle. Um, because you can cook a lot of different things on it, like a lot. I would suggest a griddle um, and a at least one pot or something so you can actually boil stuff in when you need it. Because that could get awkward or something. And the griddle is an electric griddle, so you, all you need for it is a plug. You don't have to have like a stove or anything like that. So... That does make things better and everything. Um, so, and that goes along with something that I didn't put on the list because if you don't have that or you don't have a stove top, then you can't cook things like hamburger meat or something like that of that sort. You can't cook those. But if you could, there's also a way that you can save on that. You would just look through the weekly ads. But, okay. So, I... So I'm going to start with the first place. I just, okay, I'm going to show you guys from my computer's view because that is how I did this. Okay, so the first place that I came up to was Ranch Market, which is a place here where I live. 
Um, and today it will be strictly foods, but if you guys would like, I can do one on other things such as cleaning supplies and things like that. But okay, so first I'm going to start with Ranch Market. And I'm just scrolling through here to show you all the ads and everything of what they have. And this, these are just based solely on what I like, would like to eat or something. So first things first with um, price matching, which is what you would do at Walmart. You would go to Walmart. You would look through the ads prior to that so you can know what all you would like. You don't have to get everything on price match, but it will save you a lot of money getting majority of the things with price match. Um, so this is what you do. You get the ad. Um, some Walmarts do, like, you have to have the ads to show them just to show for proof or... Some Walmarts, they have them on their own, like, they, the employees just have the ads on them so they can see, flip through them then. But I would suggest just bringing the ad just in case because you don't want to waste your trip. So just bring them just in case. But okay, so the first thing is bananas because I like bananas and those could be great for breakfast um, or just a snack during the day or if I'm running late for class but I still need to eat something I can still grab a banana the bananas um, on Wednesdays and Thursdays you have to make sure that for certain things like the bananas those are only on Wednesdays and Thursdays so the only time you can get them for two for 99 cent is on Wednesdays and Thursdays so if you went on a Wednesday or Thursday um, and got the bananas they would be two pounds of them for 99 cent um, for mine, I calculated that I would buy $2 worth of bananas. Um, and yeah, so let me go to the next page, which is just down here. Let's just go ahead and go to it. <laughs> this page is like basically a lot of meats, but again, it's harder to cook meats while you're in um, college and everything because everyone doesn't have the access to. But if I was getting any type of meat like if i had the ability to i would be getting this one here which is the fresh ground chicken or pork i would probably get it fresh ground chicken and it's $1.99 a pound and they normally come in one pound or two pounds so that's two to four dollars to be spending but i feel like ground chicken is more healthier than beef so i've been going more towards chicken in my life with like ground chicken instead of beef because I just like it more in everything I do so I will get the ground chicken um let me go ahead and factor that in on my sheet because I did not factor that in on my prices so let me go ahead and factor that in okay and that would I could just use the griddle to cook that or something or make um chicken patties like hamburger um you know anyways sorry you guys for being weird um okay so now i'm just gonna scroll down and look for the next thing on my list okay i did um decide on this milk here because if i am running late i would definitely get um eat well if i'm not running late or something i'll have to take the time to eat cereal and milk which the milk milk is expensive they have milk certain brands for two dollars and fifty cents it just depends on where you are but the one here um if you do get the walmart brand it is cheaper because it's 199 so that's the brand that i would probably get instead of this one and that's for the gallon one and they have they've been having this um price match going on where there's the half gallon one and that one is four for five dollars so they're 125 a jug or whatever just in case you didn't know um, yeah, some of this is in Spanish because that's what is most spoken here, but yes. And then, on the last page, I thought about the grapes because grapes in here are like one ninety eight or two fifteen a pound, something like that. And so you would save a lot, but I don't eat grapes a lot. And grapes, they go bad so fast for me, so I didn't put them on my list. But... You know, I could always substitute that out for any of the fruit that I chose, which I did choose more fruit. Let's just go to the next page. And with price matching, you have to make sure that you get it, like, exactly. You can't decide that you want something, and it's... I'll show you an example, I believe. Okay. Let's see. That's not 
to mohli. keep forgetting the pages for this one is up top so it just confuses me a little And I would also probably get the chicken patties or the chicken nuggets because they're $4.89. But I would get them because they stay frozen and they can last more than this. This is a two-week, like, grocery store run or whatever you want to call it. It's for, like, two weeks. Or it can last longer. It just depends on how much you eat. But I would get these because just because I know that what if I don't eat them now? They'll still be in the freezer for the next two weeks that I want to eat them or whenever. So I'd probably get these here. Even though it's not highlighted for you. Let's see if I can make something happen. Yeah, no, I can't make anything happen. Let me just zoom in for you. Sorry about my hands there. Just trying to zoom in for you. Sorry. Um, okay. Still scrolling down. Okay, the other ones aren't there. The next one is Food King. I haven't been able to show you guys what I'm meaning, but I'll show you guys on this one because I know I can't. Okay, for example, the red apples. I did put these on my list because they're 51 cent a pound, but the only thing with that is Walmart now does it where the 10% fee is added at checkout. So that means for a pound of apples, it would be 56 cent a pound. So I'll be paying, so I estimated that I would probably buy $2. No, actually, I did, yes, $2 worth of apples. And then for the oranges, because I do like oranges, um, they are $0.17 cent a pound. I mean, $0.17 cent each, but they will be $0.19 cent each by my math. Correct me if I'm wrong. I did it the way I know how. Um, but, so I calculate that I would get a dollar worth, which would be around five of them. Okay. And then there are the vegetables. I put in the canned foods because like before, if I didn't if I don't use it during this two weeks, it's not just gonna magically go bad, so I can always save it for another time that I would eat it or anything. And those would be fifty eight cent each with um the ten percent. And so I calculate that I would get four of each because I can be stocking up on them if I wanted to. So yeah, just for a time when I like them. <laughs> I also added in these parades because I like juices, like different kinds, and the Pirates, I like those a lot, but I like the blue ones. It is on different varieties, but they do have to be the 32 ounce. They would be 59 cent with the 10% fee. So, I calculated four, because I calculated it for four days, like one for each day or something. And that's how I did my calculations. Um, and then the next thing I put are these noodles here. Because of the fact that I eat noodles a lot, like all the time. I calculated them at $0.26 cent and I did 10 of them which would come out to $2.60. So that's in case I just don't feel like making anything or I want to quit something just to grab before class or something like that. Then I always have those noodles because... Okay, and I would probably get some of these cereals because I don't really care about the certain name brands or whatever so I'll probably get some of these which will come out to 77 cent each which it shows you there the pre-price pack for 229 or something so yeah <clears throat> after that there are the forks and everything with these because of the name brand they are you have to get the Walmart equivalent which is great value or something like that you have to get the walmart equivalent 
which shouldn't be too hard and you get them for 44 cents for a 24 count which should last you for a minute of each so i calculated that at 48 cent for forks and spoons um the sunny d i did add one of these on and that came out to 92 cent just in case i wanted orange juice for breakfast with my breakfast not for breakfast um okay next one I added these hot dogs in because I do eat hot dogs and so they would be pretty easy to boil or something like that so I did add those in um, oh for the people who like just beef like the ground beef you would get it at 80% I'm not sure if you can see that let me zoom it in for you okay you would get the ground beef of your choosing but it would have to be percentage 80% like 80% something and then the rest something else i don't know but it the first number would be 80 percent. i can't remember the exact thing on the paper but 80 percent, and then you would get it for 369 a pound some of the ground beefs a lot of them are 369 so are one pound so you would get it for that much sorry um then the sodas because i do drink sodas i know there's plenty of people out there that don't but i do and right now they have pepsi Mountain Dew, and the orange crush like any kind of pepsi brand basically would be three for eight dollars so that came out to where did i write it two dollars and 66 cents for a 12 pack which is saving a lot because if you got a 12 pack here it's almost five dollars just on normal so yeah i'm probably gonna go and pick up some of those um because mountain dew is my favorite and then pepsi um so i added that on then i added some normal bread which would be walmart brand bread um if i was just like in college and like that was basically my choice because i probably wouldn't get the bread i get now because right now i get the oh i can't even think what it's called but this is on the uh, orange package i don't know i probably remember before i go away you yeah. <laughs> know um, okay, let's go to the next page here. That's just telling you all the different kinds of meats and everything up there. Okay, I will probably get Lay's too because they have them for one eighty nine, and that's for the family pack. So I feel like that's a deal. So we we'll get two packs of those. Um, with the ketchup, I will get that. But some of the things, of course, you're not going to have to continuously stock up on every two weeks because I highly doubt I don't use up to a whole thing of ketchup in two weeks. I don't at all. So, yeah, there's that one for 99 cents. Um, and then there are some french fries, the shoestring kind. I like those kind. I also like crinkle fries, but they have the shoestring up here, so I will probably get shoestring ones for only a dollar. Um... I think that's everything from this one, but I'm just going to go to the last page just to make sure I didn't forget anything. Avocados. Everyone likes avocados here, but I don't. I don't at all. Does that say each or pound? Oh, that says each. Because pineapples here are like two fifty each, so that would be seven fifty cent. but I can't eat fresh pineapple. It hurts. It hurts. Anyways, um... Then with the last things which are on this page, the apple juice, which is one fifty, so you would get um their brand, so it's right there for one fifty. If I wanted something sweet, I would get the there's cake mix and the cake frosting, both for a dollar each, so that's a steal. Um For breakfast, I would probably get this bacon here for $2.99 because I do like bacon. It makes me so happy, even though I should be trying a healthier turkey bacon option. But, yeah, no, I don't like turkey bacon. It doesn't make me happy. Oh, look, here they have the one for $3.49. Oh, 
Um, and saying that with the whole price match thing, just because it's in another ad doesn't mean that it's going to be in Walmart's ad also because that's totally untrue and unrealistic. It's not going to be at Walmart store just because it's at another store. So you can't just decide, oh, I want something different in exchange for it. That's not how it works. So you would just not be able to get that item if they didn't have it. I feel like I'm going backwards here, but... Okay, so here's the hot chocolate that I will get, um, which is 10 for $10. So basically it's a dollar because it is getting cold and I do like hot drinks. And oops, instead of going to just go and get coffee every day or hot chocolate every day, spending one something on it, I could just make my own at home. Um, they also have these types of noodles. I don't like these kind just because, I don't know, just to like them, they would be saving more money because they're five for a dollar. Still will be saving a little more money. Okay. And then we have... Mm -hmm. uh, and for things like water and everything... Walmart does. I feel like they have the cheapest water, so that's probably where I would be going to get the water. Just because their 24 pack is 2.25 and their 32 pack, yeah, 32 pack is 3.33, so I just feel like that's the best deal of like everywhere. So unless you just happen to find it for 1.99, which is not often because I haven't found it often at all. Here's the Gatorade. It's a little blurry on this page, but the Gatorade is there. Um, and that is for... Sorry, you guys. I just realized you weren't all the way in the frame. I guess I was bumping you out. But, so, on my list, I put Gatorades at three Gatorades because I got four of the Powerade. So, yeah. So, 68 cents for those. And I came out to 204 for the Gatorades. Which, if you think about it, this would be saving a lot versus you actually going and buying Gary from the cafe or something like that. It would save a lot. Um, here are the eggs that I would get for breakfast. Um, there's a 12 count of large eggs, which is $1.50. And eggs are high. They are. So, yeah. And then I have just some pizza rolls and which are one dollar and fifty cent they wouldn't be the 99 cent here it wouldn't be the 99 cent here just for the fact that that's after like they do something different it will be the sale price which says 149 then it subtracts 50 cent for something else i don't know why but it does hmm. and so yeah i will get that and this will basically make up the things that I would eat unless I just. And with this budget that I'm doing and everything, I came out to around $45 because I did add a few things on while I was looking through and everything. I did add some things on, which is totally okay. $45 for two weeks sounds awesome to me on a college student's budget and everything. And that's just for the basics of everything that I would get and most of that stuff would be saved like stored and everything for later because of course I'm not gonna I'm probably not gonna drink a whole case of water by myself in two weeks along with all the other drinks that I chose or and there wasn't a lot of food items because I feel like there's not a lot you can cook if you're in a dorm room that doesn't have very much um like any electronic like cooking things like a stove or anything I feel like there's not a lot that you can do with that but if you don't have that problem if you how can I put it if you don't have that problem and you do have a stove then of course there are more things that you can get such as meats wise and everything like that but this is just me cutting back helping you all cut back on the basic things that you would need and a lot of things of course aren't basic but you would still be this will be what I will eat for the two weeks. Of course, I will probably still go out to eat because I do that regardless. Um, but I wouldn't have to go out as much. Um, 
except for maybe with dinner that's probably the only time i would go out and that's because there wouldn't be a lot of things for me to a lot of ways for me to cook with the scenario that i have set but if i didn't then my prices would probably go up by ten dollars just because i would probably add a few more meats in just so that it can be more food for my dinner but since I am imagining that I don't have a stove in my room or anything like that, like an oven to cook in or on, that's how it is now. So I hope that I could help someone today with their college food struggles and everything. <laughs> so I really do hope that I helped someone and that people will be able to use my advice and they will be able to save a lot more money. And then it'd be easier and they can even stock up on different foods that they're going to be eating and everything like that. So thank you for watching my college students mealtime budgets video and I'll talk to you guys another time.